You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. So far in these lectures, we've been looking at crimes like robbery and murder, both from a historical viewpoint and also in contemporary society. And we've seen that the preoccupation in Western society with crime and with lawlessness is part of a long and continuous tradition rather than something which is new and unique to modern society. But over the past 70 years or so, there has been a massive increase in one type of crime, which is what's known as corporate crime. Corporate crime is crime which, as the name suggests, is connected with companies, with business organizations. It includes illegal acts of either individuals or a group within the company. But what is important is that these acts are normally in accordance with the goals of the company. They're for the good of the company rather than the individual. It's been defined as, quote, crime which is committed for the corporate organization, the company, not against it, unquote. So crimes like theft by employees, things like uh, embezzlement or fraud against one's actual employer, are excluded according to this definition. The employees may be involved, but they're acting in the first place for the company. They may not even realize they're committing a crime. Or they may realize, but they feel it's excusable because it's policy. Or because otherwise they may lose their jobs. So here really we're talking about the links between power and crime. 